Welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elumir TV. On the occasion of Christmas, Nursat TV office in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director, Dr. Basim Samaan, and the team, extends its warmest congratulations and most beautiful blessing, praying to the Almighty to perpetuate safety and security on our beloved Jordan, and to return to our homeland and the whole world with peace and love. And may the new year be a year of goodness and blessing for all. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message to the world on the occasion of Christmas. Prince Hassan bin Talal congratulates Christians on Christmas and New Year's Eve. Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem appeal to the world to stop the suffering of Christians in the Holy Land. We also have Jordanian churches limit their Christmas celebrations to religious rituals. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis sent a message to the world entitled, The Christmas of the Lord is a Christmas of Peace, in which His Holiness called to direct attention to Bethlehem and to the face of the child who was born for us. Jesus is the path of peace through His incarnation, death, and resurrection. His Holiness also called to think of children, orphans, and the elderly who are in danger of being marginalized. Let us allow God's love to influence us. Let us follow Jesus with all His glory in order to share with us his fullness. His Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal congratulated Christians on the occasion of Christmas and New Year's Eve. His Highness confirmed during his meeting with the heads and representatives of the Eastern and Western churches at the Coptic Orthodox Church of the Virgin Mary in Amman that religious holidays represent a great opportunity to deepen coexistence among the people of the country, noting that transforming religious holidays into national holidays would enhance the role of religion in society. For his part, the priest of the Coptic Orthodox Church of the Virgin in Jordan, Father Antonio Subhi, said, This meeting comes as we celebrate Christmas, which develops a spiritual impact on our hearts full of lessons learned from peace and love, humility and acceptance of the other, regardless of the religion, race or gender. At the end of the conversation, a dialogue took place between the audience and His Highness on the most important issues related to respect for diversity and differences, and the management of religious monuments in Jerusalem and the principle of comprehensive citizenship for religious and cultural pluralism in Jordan and the Middle East. Prime Minister Dr. Bishr al khassawni accompanied by a number of Christian ministers, visited the Latin Diocese in Jordan as a congratulations on this blessed occasion. During his visit, he emphasized that Christmas is an occasion for all the sons of the country who embody the one life and the one body under the Hashemite banner. al khassawni praised the spirit of solidarity and the sincere feeling of condolences expressed by the council heads of churches and Christian brothers to cancel Christmas and New Year celebrations and limit themselves to religious rituals in solidarity with the martyrs of public security who rose in defense of the homeland. For his part, His Excellency Bishop Jamal Ibis, the Latin Patriarchal Vicar in Jordan, on behalf of the heads and representatives of the churches in Jordan, welcomed the visit of the Prime Minister and the ministerial team on the occasion of Christmas, pointing out that this visit confirms the closeness of all people of the country on whose soil we live and we all seek to raise it under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II, supported by His Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II, the Crown Prince. In a message addressed to the world on the occasion of Christmas, the patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem expressed the suffering of Christians in the Holy Land, where they face continuous assaults on their freedom of faith, physical attacks, contempt for their churches and cemeteries, unjustified restrictions on the performance of their worship rituals, and legal threats to their ecclesiastical property and management. This frustrating atmosphere for Christians makes them feel that they are not welcome in their homeland, which their ancestors inhabited even before the birth of church, and because of that, many of them migrate in search of places that provide them with greater opportunities, and this is what helped reduce the Christian presence in Jerusalem. The Jordanian Christians participated with the people of the world in Christmas. On this blessed occasion, prayer and masses were held in many churches that follow the Western calendar, in which prayers were raised that God preserve Jordan and perpetuate security and safety for it, and that peace be achieved throughout the world. In turn, Nursat Lens toured a number of churches and covered their celebrations on this glorious occasion. In Mar Ephraim Syriac Orthodox Church in Swafi Amman, a divine liturgy was held on the occasion of Christmas, presided over by his beatitude patriarch Ignatius Ephraim II, patriarch of Antinoch and all the East, with all the assistance of Father Benjamin Sheeman, pastor of the church, and the presence of a group of parishioners. At the end of the Mass, the believers exchanged Christmas greetings. 
And in the Church of the Apostles in the Northern Zarqa region, Bishop Jamal Ad-Aib has presided over the Divine Liturgy that was held on the occasion of Christmas. With the assistance of the pastor of the church, Iyad Badr, and the presence of a number of priests and deacons, and a large gathering of believers. During the Mass, prayers were raised for the martyrs of the homeland and for the benefactors of the parish. In the Church of the Melkite Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Umm Summaq, a divine liturgy was held on the occasion of Christmas. The Mass was presided over by His Excellency Bishop Joseph Jbara with the assistance of Father Dr. Bassam Shahatit, the Vicar General, and Father Imad Bawab, the Assistant Parish Priest, and the presence of a large number of believers. Under the auspices of Father Jihad Shwehat, President of the Latin Ecclesiastical Court in Jordan, the Rosary Sister Schools Administration in Marjil Hamam, represented by its director, Sister Clara Asher, revived a Christmas evening under the title Together Towards the Grotto of the Nativity, in the presence of Dr. Basim al Sam'an and a large crowd of in attendees. The ceremony included presenting paragraphs that embodied the Christmas story, interspersed with a bouquet of Christmas carols performed by male and female students. Dear, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message to the world on the occasion of Christmas. Prince Hassan bin Talal congratulates Christians on Christmas and New Year's Eve. Patriarchs and heads of churches in Jerusalem appeal to the world to stop the suffering of Christians in the Holy Land. Jordanian churches limit their Christmas celebrations to religious rituals. For more information, please visit our website www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.